You know? I said this shit when it first happened. You know, everybody mad at Yellow Busy for, you know, what happened with him and Mo3. But what y'all got to understand is that was some real funk. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to real funk that's mutual between two people, yeah, we could pick a side, but the best thing to do really is to stay neutral. Because I ain't got beef with Mo3, I ain't got beef with Yellow Beezy. I just like their music. One thing y'all got to keep in mind, man, when it comes to these streets, when it comes to real beef between real people that got real beef, it's kind of hard to pick a side because you don't know the ins and outs of that shit. Now, of course, Mo3 was linked to Boosie and he could sing and he was talented, but Mo3 was out here kicking up dust. We just got to be real. Shit happen to real niggas when they do real things. Y'all got to remember something, man. I'm not picking a side. Like I say, I'm Stephen Ed of the streets. I'm just serving y'all the news. I'm out here in Texas. I know the real scoop. You feel me? When Yellow Beezy got hit up on the tollway, niggas shot him, niggas tried to kill him. You got to understand, niggas really tried to kill that boy. Had that boy laid up. Tried to do him the way Mo3 got done. So you can't really fault a nigga when the nigga made an attempt on his life. And yeah, you know, they got on Roy Lee, but Roy Lee was being boisterous, poking and talking shit at Yellow Beezy. And the street shit happened, man. You can't really pick a side. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it go, man. Rest in peace to Mo3 made good ass music, was a talented dude. But he was kicking up dust, making songs about it. You playing with niggas with cheese that could put 10 racks on your head, 20 racks on your head, easy. See, that's the perfect storm for you. That's the perfect storm to get murdered. A nigga with hella money, niggas that ain't got no money but got guns, 10 racks to change a nigga life, niggas already heartless. That's how it go, man. You know, so I'm still neutral. I'm not picking Yellow Busy side. I'm not picking Mo3 side. I'm just neutral telling y'all how this shit go in the streets, man. In the streets, you're rooting for two villains, really. You got two people that rap about negative things. They two villains. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna pick the winner between two villains? You know what I'm saying? I'm neutral, though, y'all. I'm just giving y'all the facts on how this shit go. You know what I mean?